Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to my channel, Spiritual Catholic Prayer. Today I am going to present a Catholic Gospel reading. Tuesday, first week of Advent, 5th December 2023. A reading from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 21 to 24. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the launch, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings decide to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks to be God. Reflections The Eyes of Faith In our Gospel passage today, we heard from the words of the Lord Himself, reassuring all of His disciples and followers. That every one of us have truly been blessed because God himself has come into our midst through his son, bringing us all closer to him, revealing to us the fullness of his love and everything that he has intended to do for us, in gathering us all back to himself and in leading us to salvation through him. Each and every one of us as a Christians who have accepted the Lord as our God and Saviour. All of us have been brought together as one flock of the Lord's faithful, becoming those whom He has loved and shown affection for, as long as we remain firm in our faith and commitment to Him. Then all that He has promised us will become a reality in the end, and we shall be blessed and be truly joyful forevermore. Now, brothers and sisters in Christ, all of us, Having heard this verse of the Lord in the scriptures, let us all therefore keep in mind as always that everything that we do throughout this time and opportunities which we have been given during this period of Advent, so we should always do our best so that all of our upcoming celebrations, rejoicing and festivities are centered on the one in whom we ought to focus our attention in during this time of rejoicing. Christmas is ultimately about Christ, the Lord, our God and Saviour. Admits all the distractions and all the excesses of worldly rivalries that are present everywhere all around us. During this period of time, all of us should always be the role models and inspiration for one another in how we are committed ourselves to the Lord and be focused wholly and entirely on the Lord Jesus Christ our Saviour. Each and every one of us should always be filled with the true joy in the Lord and be wholly committed to Him and not to be easily swayed and tempted with the various temptation and destruction. We should always help one another to remember the generous love of God which He has given us. All of us are reminded that we must never take God's love for granted and remember that it is because of His love and everything that He has done to us through His Son by His incarnation and coming into this world that all of us may have hope once again and that we have this sure path given and revealed to us. This Advent, let it be a time of renewal and reorientation for us so that we may focus and center our whole lives once again in the Lord. Let us pray. May the Lord whose coming be, we celebrate and prepare for the seasons of Advent and upcoming Christmas be with us always. And may He empower and strengthen us in all things so that in everything we say and do, in our every way of life, we may be truly exemplary in all things and that we may always preserve in faith regardless of all the challenges and trials we may face and encounter in life. May God bless us all and our every good works and endeavors now and always. Amen. 
Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters, for listening this prayer. God bless you all.